All right, we are back. Today, we're going to be going over Reyna on Haven. I'm going to make this video very short, simple, and easy. Basically going to show you the best things you can do as Reyna on Haven. So let's just get right into it. Starters, if you start B as Reyna, the best thing you can do on defense is to walk down mid. The most effective thing you can do is usually you would have a teammate with you. If you don't, then you can still do this solo. It's just a little more risky. If you do have a teammate, you would walk down mid, hold window for a short period of time until you cross this angle here. And then you would transition to this angle and walk all the way down lower mid. Now, if you don't cross paths with anybody, you could either take two routes. One, you can go up window and you can catch the A flank or two, you can depot yourself bottom mid. In that scenario, your teammate would probably be holding your window once you get roughly here. But if you are solo, you can still do the same exact thing. The good thing about Reyna is the fact that if you kill somebody, you can dismiss out, especially with the dismiss movement buff, you are very, very fast. So you're able to get a frag here or here, you dismiss, and you can just go right back to B. Now you're up numbers. If you get traded, it is what it is. You're in a 4v4 now. The good thing about Reyna being traded is that Reyna does not provide a lot of utility for your team. You have flashes that are breakable, but that's pretty much it. Reyna dying is not as crucial as the other important roles on your team. Now let's say you're starting Garage. An angle like this is probably where you would use your flash. If you throw your flash too far to the right, it's not going to blind the enemies on this side of the wall. That's why you kind of want to throw it directly straight. That way, anyone in your line of sight is also going to be hit by this blind. Don't forget that the blind travels the fastest if you throw it at the floor. But typically, you don't want to throw it on the floor out of this angle because it's not very beneficial. An enemy could be on this box and won't get blind by this flash. The same concept applies though. You would take your fight lower mid. If you don't see anyone in this angle, you would just transition to look towards window to fall off. Typically, you don't want to take this fight because it's more risky than it is rewarding. Let's say you're starting C. You could either start close C and play for the quick dismiss, or you could play back site C. You know, they'll probably throw a silver dart here or here, and you break the start, and you throw a blind high up behind you. The one thing that's really good about Reyna is you could play one and done angles because you can dismiss after you get a kill. So an angle like this wouldn't necessarily be terrible, except your dismiss will probably reach around right here, which you are still tradable. And even if you do make it here, this whole box is spammable. So a better angle to play if you know they're coming sea long is roughly right next to the garage entrance. Right around here, you can take this fight and then you could dismiss towards back site where it's not spammable. That's where you could also use your blind and combo to swing again or throw your blind high to get out. Now let's say you're playing A. The best spot for Arena to play is probably long, only considering it's a very narrow pathway. That way, if you do throw your blind to swing, it's almost a guarantee that they're going to be blind no matter where they are. That way you can blind and swing with it. And let's say you're playing towards short. You could play an angle like this, which is a very good off angle in this corner. Take this fight, dismiss out, and you can make it all the way up to here. Which, once you're here, you would either ask for a smoke, or you can throw a close blind on the floor. Either cross out, or fight with it. Now let's talk about attack. If you're attacking towards A, the best thing you could do is probably flash out long. Taking this long space in the beginning of the round is very crucial for your team, but if you were to go short, you typically wouldn't use your blind. You would usually walk contact all the way up. You would take this fight top short or close short. After you get this pick, you have two options. One, you could play your numbers, fall back, maybe you go to C or B. Or two, if you know there's not a lot of people playing A, I would dismiss towards the site. I would use a flash closer towards head level here. Only because if they are playing this close corner, they are going to be blind by this. And then people who are CT as well also cannot trade the person who is blind unless they break the flash. Same with the concept of here and here. They're going to be blind as well. So if you have teammates scaling up long, there. this should be free and this should be free. Careful here. That is if the eye is not broken. If they do break the blind, then you know where the person is or you can fight the person as they're breaking the blind. If you used one flash to take long, now you're in this area, this will usually be smoked. If it's not smoked, they usually have an op towards heaven there. or hell looking at long. So I would flash very high. That way it gets the player behind the default box and it gets the player heaven if they are opping. And then you'd have to clear the rest of the site with bodies or other teammates utility. Now for mid, the best thing you could do is flash out of window and take this lower mid space fast. Because a lot of teams on Haven love to take this mid space, especially if they have a Reyna or a Jet on the other team. If you're going out lower mid, which isn't common, but it is possible, you would typically swing the garage door dry, no util, and take this fight. Then if you make it towards garage, I would throw a blind on the ground here. Feeling sight. That way, if someone is holding a judge or so, and they're close, they will be blind by this flash. If you throw it high, they won't be. That's why you throw it at the ground. But when you throw this, you just have to keep in mind 
the player's window will not be blind. So that is your first target once you're entering garage. You want to throw this, look towards the garage window, then here, and then close. And then after that, you can scale towards check close box, right side window, and then you can go towards site. And once you hit around here, this is where your second blower come in handy. You flash kind of towards the right there. around head level, just like we showed you on A, because this is a fairly common angle. That way the people who see T are also trying to play a trade with this guy are blind as well. Then like A, the rest is just clearing the site with your body. Now let's say you path towards B. The blind on B goes through the floor, so it's a big issue in the game here. So that's why you have to throw it right towards head level, so it doesn't go through the floor. You clear your close angles. The reason why you don't want to throw it super high is because people who are close will not be blind by the flash. Then once you are on B, you could either take one path right or one path left, either fight there. for one of the links, or you could play back sight Careful. and play for a dismiss. Let's say you're starting towards C. C is a very common op angle, so throwing a flash right in front of Cubby, there. not in Cubby, but right in front of it, is going to be the most beneficial for you because if there is a player opping on plat or behind plat they will be blind if there's also a person opping on default or on top of default they will be blind as well but then if you know they are opping for sure the best thing to do is get into cubby and then blind out high again that way if they're holding this angle or they transition towards garage or top plat they're going to be blind again this is where the rest of your teammates utility would come in play but if they're not opping you would clear this with your body make sure cubby's clear Walk all the way up. Once you get right past Kobe, that's where you throw it blind. Clear close left. If there's nothing close left, you have two options. If you have the time and know you have the time, then you can throw out another flash up high and clear the rest of the close angles. But if you don't think you have the time, then what you're going to do is you're basically just going to hard clear all these angles with your body. Just keep in mind that you have to be confident while you're locking Reyna. The main concept behind this character is just to take duels. They provide nothing but a flash that is breakable for team fights. So if you want to engage in more and more fights, Reyna is definitely the person that you lock. Now with that confidence, that means you cannot be afraid to take a C-long duel, take a fight at a garage, there. take a fight lower mid, there. take a fight A-long. The best part about Reyna is she is the least likely to get traded due to her dismissibility. And typically when you pop your ult, it's almost like a mental fear factor for them. It's something about ulted Reynas that people cannot kill.